Hey guys, Jeff here with Mitsubishi Cooling and Heating. Welcome to another episode of Tech Tips. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at our linear expansion valve, or LEV for short. The LEV is what we use as our metering device. We're gonna take a look at some common problems you may see in the field, as well as some ways to prevent it from happening. Before we get more in depth, let's take a step back and see how the LEV actually works. The LEV acts like a magnetic field. It either spins counterclockwise or clockwise to open or close the refrigerant flow. The coolest part about it is that it's a two-piece component, a body and an LEV coil. What that means is that we can actually remove the LEV coil without having to touch the refrigerant. One of the biggest problems that we find is when the formation of rust or corrosion occurs between the LEV coil and the body. We typically see this on oceanfront properties or somewhere where it's near the ocean. When the LEV coil starts to condensate or sweat, it will eventually rust. When it develops this rust or corrosion, it interferes with the magnetic field that's trying to open or close the refrigerant. What this will lead to is either a refrigerant error or some type of restriction. If the rust gets really bad, sometimes you can't even remove the LEV coil. Let's take a look and see how we can remove the coil from the unit we're working on today. Once the unit is disassembled, you can find the LEV coil in the compressor compartment. In order to remove it, simply grab the LEV coil and pull straight up. If you find there's some light corrosion or rust buildup, simply clean it with either emery cloth or some type of sandpaper. If it's so rusted that you can't remove it from the body, this may require you to replace the LEV body and the LEV coil. Once a year, you may want to consider checking the LEV coil and cleaning it if necessary. If you're in coastal conditions and want to take it a step further, you can apply some of our silicone paste. The part number for the silicone paste is listed at the bottom of the screen. For additional information and service manuals, please visit our website at www.mylinkdrive.com. If there's a topic you would like to see discussed in the future, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for future episodes of Tech Tips and Homeowner Help.